Hello, next community. Uh, testing some other boards for chalk, and uh, we just did the new caps on them. Cleared space on on my second station, and yeah, I need to clean up uh, things that just kind of been chaotic for me. Um, so I've got a working motherboard with the new Austrian caps for you, Chuck. And I've got a couple more boards. And so I had a new experience. Uh, it seems like computers have been fighting me um, today. And uh, so the system would power on, and I tried two different keyboards and mice. And this is the second monitor I tried. And it was weird to go all the way to the login screen and then it wouldn't power off and there was no input on the keys. So I thought, well, two different monitors, it's not the sound card where the keyboard plugs in. It's gotta be the cable. Fortunately, I have enough spare parts and a cable that was working uh, stopped working that's where I think the problem lies, and this is a cable. So I think for whatever reason, one of these pins is the contact point uh, that lets you, I know one's for power, and then one's for uh, entering keystrokes. So that one threw me for a loop. It's not something I think I've seen before. Uh, I've been doing this 30 years. I've had problems with cable where the video's been the problem. Um, but this is the first time it would allow me to log all the way in, you know, or not log in, but power up, and then go all the way to the login screen and have no ability to do anything. That'll happen if you try and use ADB components on a non-ADB Next system as well, where just the power key works, right? And so I thought, well, maybe it's a bad ROM chip, but no, it wound up being the cable. So, long story short, I've got one of these motherboards tested and working. It can do the keystrokes and everything else. And this monitor came in. They didn't pack it well enough, so it's got a cracked shell in the upper corner. Everything else appears to work, including sound. So I've got some parts, uh, so I'll have to take it apart and put the new face on it or the replacement face. Other than that, the picture seems clear, and uh, I just thought I'd put that out there. So if you have a system that does power on, but you have no functionality in the keyboard, and you have the ability to check with a different keyboard, it is probably the cable.